Belong to a CNBC TV 18 exclusive then, Manisha Gupta caught up with Vikram Lemai, the MD and CEO of NSC. And Mr. Lemai says that asset management industry has come a long way and believes that India is well positioned to counter global volatility. Take a look. You have only about 5% who are invested in equities and that 5% includes direct and indirect. Um, so it's a very small percentage. The emerging market average is somewhere between 13 to 15%. And the developed markets are more in the 30s and 40s. Right. So we have a long way to go even in terms of equity penetration in India. And equity, you know, relatively speaking, is, is a, is a well-developed asset class in India. Mm. Uh, at least our markets are relatively well-developed and, you know, you have, um, you have liquidity and depth and all that. But it is only 5% in yeah, terms of penetration. So. so we have a long way to go. And, and with the, uh, you know, generations getting more smarter uh, as we see the every new one and as we keep talking that it is the millennials who are going to rule as we go forward from here, what is the reason that you feel that the number is still so small and what is the kind of push that is needed to ensure that more and more people come into this and uh, invest properly or smartly? You know, it's uh, like I said, it, you know, there's always an inflection point. Mm -hmm. You have to keep working at educating people about markets. You have to have the right products. So, you know, SIPs didn't exist 10 years ago. So my point is, people need to be educated. People need to have a positive experience when they invest in markets. You have to have simple products. It's, it's very difficult for the common man to understand complex products. So you have to have products that you can communicate effectively. People are able to understand. And you have an inflection point. I think we, we are at that point where People are a lot more comfortable about markets. A lot of effort has gone in from all participants in the market to educate investors. And we're seeing the fruits of that. So my hope is that um, that will continue and penetration levels will improve. Uh, but financial education is an ongoing exercise. So I think we continue to do that. Just as an example, for instance, the NSC conducts more than 2,500 invest investor education programs in about 500 districts which is, you know, 90% 90, 90 of the country. So uh, that is required because I think, uh, the, as I said, penetration is just 5%. To grow the markets, you have, to, you have to penetrate more and you have to get more people to invest a portion of their savings in, in, in markets. And that I think uh, the younger generation is, is more comfortable doing that because they've, they've grown up in an envir environment where um, th their access to information, their ability to understand markets because of various tools that are available at their disposal is, is, is a lot easier than what it was 15, 20 years ago. And uh, the risk-taking ability is obviously a lot higher. So from that perspective, I think um, we have to keep at it. And um, my hope is that these penetration levels will pick up. How are you looking at the exchange now moving on from here? Like I said, we have a long way to go in terms of uh, where we are versus where we need to be in terms of market development in this country. And my own view is that if we don't get market development right in a rel relatively short period of time, unfortunately, we don't have another you know, 10, 15, 20 years. If we don't get it right in the next two, three years, I, I actually believe we would, we would be compromising on the long-term growth potential of the economy. If we want to grow at much higher growth rates than the 7% that we have, then we have to get market development right. Because you need alternate sources of capital. You need uh, financial instruments that allows uh, people who are operating in the real economy uh, to hedge risks, whether it's credit risk, interest rate risk, equity risk, commodity risk. And therefore, you require those markets to develop. You require those instruments to be available for businesses to be able to hedge risk. And I don't think you can grow at much higher growth rates just on the back of bank financing. Mm. And we all know that the banks are also quite stretched in terms of asset quality, capital, and all that. So I think from that standpoint, it's important to get market development expedited. And that's what we're focused on.